Hello everyone, I'm Sabi from Acrobat.net and I think I just got cancer because I tried to find an iOS emulator online. Which is why I'm drinking this, bleach. It might help me cure my cancer. Mm. If I just drink enough. Anyways guys, so iOS emulators. The thing about iOS emulators is... There's many people that claim that they have one or that they have a list of the best top uh, iOS emulators or whatever they're claiming, but here's the thing. It's all clickbait guys. It's all clickbait there There cannot be any iOS emulators uh, Let me just explain to you guys why because you're not gonna believe me. I know because there's so many people uh, Making lists about this stuff and claiming they have em iOS emulators, but they don't okay Let me prove it. Okay, let's just go to Wikipedia. All right the reason why it's impossible to have an iOS emulator is this, okay? This is the Wikipedia entry for Android. What you can read here is that Android's source code is released by Google under an open source license, all right? So that means anyone can use the source code, all right? Without getting sued to hell and back. Get it? Okay. That is why there are legitimate Android emulators such as Bluestacks, Mimu, and Nox that I'm using. Uh, links in descriptions as always if you need emulators for uh, Android, not iOS, because <laughs> as we're gonna establish today, there are no iOS emulators, all right? No matter how many people put iOS uh, emulator in their video titles in their websites, they don't exist. Here's news about um, the Apple iOS, okay? They also released a source code. However, they have it under a very restrictive license, okay? As you can see here, the UNX kernel XNU whatever is released under the Apple Public Source License 2.0. So, what's the difference here? The difference is the Android OS source code is released under a open source, just non-restrictive open source source code license, okay? Anyone can use it for any purpose. They can even make money with it, okay? And that's very central because nobody's going to make an emulator if they can't make money with it, all right? But Apple, as they are, as they always are, uh, are very restrictive when it comes to who can use their stuff. So, as far as I am aware, this source code license does not allow anyone to make an actual emulator. Maybe if they make it absolutely free, they don't want to make money with it, they maybe could, I'm not sure, I don't, I have, I'm not a lawyer, I haven't read the actual thing, but this article itself also claims that it is a somewhat restrictive beast, the, the license under which it is released, okay? So, what does that mean? Unless Apple themselves create an emulator in the future, it's probably never going to happen. And any, any emulator that I've tried isn't actually an emulator, okay? Most of that stuff is glorified malware, okay? It will, it's, it's just a skin that looks kind of like a iOS emulator. It looks like that. It's a skin. And it might be able to play some apps... Uh, but those are usually apps that also work on Android, so you're playing the Android apps, but in an iOS looking skin. What I'm saying here, guys, is there is no iOS emulator. There, there, there's not. There isn't. Because if someone creates an iOS emulator, they're going to get sued by Apple till they're dead. Like, they're going to get sued to death. And even when they're dead, they're probably still, their, their descendants are going to get sued, their grandkids and their dog. Like, there's no way, there's literally no way to make an iOS emulator at this point. Because Apple is very restrictive. So, guys, if you want to do stuff that requires uh, a route without any risk of breaking your phone and whatnot, Android is the place to go. Android is the place to go for a lot of things these days. If you want to do geeky stuff like hacking your phone, or using rooted apps and so on, I highly recommend Use an Android emulator. Android just allows for that kind of stuff out of the box. It's open source. Anyone can make an emulator and mod it and whatever. And that's the other thing. Even if there was an emulator, 
you probably wouldn't be allowed to do certain things with it, like root it or whatever. So that's the other thing. I'm not very uh, optimistic that there ever will be an iOS emulator. Just stay away from iPadian, by the way. iPadian, last time I downloaded it, uh, it got removed from my PC automatically because it's mail. It's basically adware, malware, adware. That's what happened last time. And all these other ones that you will find, Air iPhone, yeah, that's just a skin, I downloaded that one as well. Like, there is no, there is no iPhone emulator, and if there was, you would know about it, okay? Because everybody would use it, you would see it on YouTube everywhere. I would be the first person to make a hundred videos if there is ever a, 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 a real iOS emulator. I would be one of the first people to pick it up and make videos, so keep 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 you know keep an eye on my channel if I ever start doing a lot of videos about iOS there's probably going to be an iOS emulator and it's probably going to be rootable and jailbreakable but I predict that's not going to happen like as, as long as Apple is the owner of iOS I don't believe that's going to happen because they are very restrictive with their IP and they're not very um, open source friendly at all. That's that's just the way they are. That's just the way they are. And for geeks and people who want to do stuff with their devices, Android at the moment is just the best way to go. Anyways, guys, I hope this helps. I hope you don't fall for these fake iOS emulators. <laughs> As I told you guys, there cannot be at the moment an iOS emulator. It's just not going to happen. Whoever would, would be able even to make one, would probably get sued to hell and back, and yeah, it would just never see the public light. It's, it's obviously possible to make an iOS emulator, as is an Android emulator, but just legally speaking, you can't make one, okay? And I don't know if the source code that they released for um, iOS 10, I think, uh, or is it just the, uh, no, it's Mac OS 10, or whatever, I don't know if the source code would even be sufficient to make one. Because with Google it's different, with Android it's different, everything is out there, everything. And with Apple it's just, they give you what they want you to see, okay? And they'll keep as much as they can for themselves. And the only reason why they release the source code is just so developers understand the inner workings of iOS a little bit better. Not for any other reason, okay? So, but anyways, you guys can keep dreaming that there ever ever will be an iOS emulator, but sadly, it's all just, you know, all these websites and whatever, they are playing on your hopes and dreams. But I predict, I already predicted like two years ago, there's not going to be an iOS emulator. I've been right so far, and now I can predict that there probably won't be one for the next five, six, seven, eight years, ten years. However long Apple's going to be in possession of iOS. Anyways, guys, hope this helps. Hope you don't fall for the scam arenas. And, um, you know, I'll see you guys soon. Mm.